some of the important formulas that are used in the flexible pavement design i already told you that in this lecture we are not going into the depths but i'll try to give you the short and point to point information regarding the flexible pavements in this pavement design series we will be covering only those topics which have been asked previously in gate our first topic is the contact pressure the contact pressure is the load applied on that particular area of contact with the pavement so it is defined as the V load divided by the contact area and this area is always circular in nature. If A is the radius of the contact then the area will be given as pi A square. It is necessary to find out the maximum V load as it influences the quality of surface. As per IRC the maximum V load recommended for heavy commercial vehicles is 10.2 tons and the contact pressure for heavy vehicles is between 7 to 9.5 kg per centimeter square and for commercial vehicles it is 5 to 7 kg per centimeter square and also i want to tell you about a factor that is called rigidity factor which is equal to the contact pressure divided by the tire pressure our second topic is equivalent single wheel load first of all i want to tell you about axles and wheels you may have seen this type of dual wheel combination in a single axle and there is another combination called tandem axle dual wheels in which two axles are used and a combination of dual wheels is used on each side of the axle. Okay, so what is equivalent single wheel load? Equivalent single wheel load of the dual wheel load assembly at a depth Z may be defined as the single wheel load replacement of the dual wheel load assembly which will cause the same magnitude of vertical deflection or same value of compressive stress at that depth z okay so basically these two wheels are converted into a single wheel and this single wheel will takes up the same magnitude of load as it was taken by these dual wheels so there is a formula called s is equal to d plus 2a where s is the distance between the axis of two wheels D is the distance between the surfaces of two wheels and A is the radius of contact. We can also find out the compressive stress at a depth Z by this log scale graph. In this graph, the value of loads P and 2P are noted and their corresponding compressive stresses at a depth Z equal to T by 2 and Z equal to 2 by S are noted. And we can find out the value of P1 at the depth Z1 with the help of interpolation. If you want me to do a video on interpolation, then please tell me in the comments or you can say yes in this poll. After that, our third topic is the repetitions of load. Suppose N1 and N2 are the repetitions of the corresponding load P1 and P2, then P1 N1 will be equal to P2 N2 and P will be inversely proportional to the number of repetitions. Also traffic composition is of mixed type and it is essential to convert the various wheel load to one single standard wheel load for the structural design of flexible pavements. Higher number of load repetitions during the design life of the pavement will require higher thickness of the flexible pavement structure. Our fourth topic is the vehicle damaging factor. We should know that if a vehicle passes over a pavement, then what are the possible damaging effects it can cause on our flexible pavement? And it is denoted by F. Vehicle damaging factor of a wheel or axle load indicates its possible damaging effects on a flexible pavement structure with respect to the standard wheel or axle load. Before moving to our next topic, I want to tell you something about the design criteria. The total thickness of pavement H is decided based on the design factors such as CBR value of subgrade soil and design traffic. The design traffic is a function of initial traffic of different classes of heavy vehicles, their axle loads, growth rate, design period, and the lane distribution factor. The combined effect of the traffic factors are represented in terms of cumulative standard axles and in terms of million standard axles. NS is the cumulative number of standard axles 
is equal to 365 into a then square bracket then curved brackets then 1 plus r raised to the power n minus 1 square bracket close into f divided by r where a is the anticipated traffic or the number of commercial vehicles per day r is the traffic growth rate f is the vehicle damaging factor n is the number of years and ns is the cumulative number of standard axles and it is the most 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 important formula in the design of flexible pavements you should cram this formula because it is the most important formula and the questions in gate are directly asked on this formula so you should please learn this formula it is very 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 important